Look at this beautiful image. Wait a second. Why does it look weird? Hmm. Can you find it? Where is the shadow of this gentleman? No problem. We will create one super realistic shadow using Affinity Photo. Let's get started. First, duplicate this image layer and rename it. Hide the original layer. Next, select the subject using the selection tool. Press Ctrl plus J to create a new layer with the selection. I will rename this layer to Subject. Press Ctrl plus D to deselect. Create a duplicate of the subject layer and rename it to Shadow. Hide the subject layer. In this image, the source of light is on the right side, so the shadow will be in this direction. While the shadow layer is selected, click on this button to edit the transform origin point. Now I will move this point to the left ankle of the subject. When I rotate the image, it will use this point as the rotation center. Now flip the shadow layer horizontally and place it here such that both ankles touch slightly. Next, rotate the shadow layer in this direction. Skew the shadow so that the bottom of the shadow touches the bottom of the subject. If you cannot achieve this with skewing, use the Mesh Warp tool to warp the shadow layer with respect to the subject. Click on Apply after warping. Using the Eraser tool, I will remove these small elongated corners here and here. Holding the Control key, click on the shadow layer to create a selection of this layer. Then, using the Brush tool, paint with a dark gray color inside the whole selection. Deselect the shadow after painting. Change the blending mode of the shadow to multiply and the opacity to about 80%. The shadow is almost complete, but not realistic. Next, add a Gaussian blur to the shadow. Keep the blur radius at one pixel. Using the brush tool with a soft brush, I will fix these weird shadows near the leg. Let's add a depth of field blur for a more realistic effect. In this image, there is one source of light. In some cases, there are multiple sources. In such cases, the part of the shadow that is away from the subject has less opacity than the part that is near the subject. In such cases, add an empty mask to the shadow. With the empty mask selected, draw a gradient like this and adjust the blurs accordingly. For this image, I will hide it, and the shadow is now looking real and the image does not look weird anymore with the shadow present. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more photo editing tips and tricks. Let us know in the comments if you have any questions or suggestions for future tutorials. See you next time.